um, today is April 27th, 2021, and ta-da! <laughs> I'm your Ranting Blonde Chick Mechanic with uh, Dolly Dark. I'm Dolly, and that's my nickname, so. Um, I took a picture the other day and put it on Facebook of my in empty engine compartment, and um, this is kind of good news because um, John at Kiwi Motors, he got so busy with work and stuff that um, we have to put it in at our house. So, more films coming your way. <laughs> um, but this is um, a 360 uh -huh. Magnum. So, um, what's funny about that is that if you go, oh, I got an, a 360 LA, um, the um, intake manual, or intake, or intake manifold. manifold um, it doesn't fit the same. Yeah. And um, I think this one has more gas delivery, but we also changed our fuel lines on this old Dart. So um, anyway, uh, got to tell you something. It's really, really hard. But first thing, we bought this cherry picker. It's called Big Red, and it's from um, Pet Boys. And we love it. It's great. And yesterday, um, I was feeling kind of... Uh, allergies and stuff and so we were both kind of struggling through it but we we got it done and then we got this part from um, hang on Harbor Freight and I'm telling you this thing is wonderful this little little they call it's called a load, load leveler uh, Bruce Bruce Wallace from Nevada told us yeah you better get one it's better. worth gold and you know what it is and one of the things that was interesting about putting this motor onto the cherry picker or um, hot hoist is that uh, we we had put it in the back of our Valiant wagon and the engine yeah the engine in the back but right now it's messy so um, and to move this engine that has the heads, has the harmonic balancer, has everything blueprint balance, has the cam in there, has everything that that's the crank and everything. This thing between my husband and I, we struggled so hard to, to push it in uh, into the edge. And you know what? We got the chains on it and then with a little bit of the car lowering and going up. Yeah, we, this, we, we finessed it and finally, hooray! Yeah, we had it in the, the back of the Valiant here, and, uh, and it was laying on its side, and so it... That's right, it was on its side, and even though there's no oil, we did put it on its side. So yeah, and that's yeah, wobble. that's why, just, just so and keep people are saying, hey, it's crooked, you know, and yeah, it's crooked because we had to lift it and get it out of the, the vehicle first. So yeah. we commandeered, commandeered this here vehicle, and uh, <laughs> anyway... At any rate, um, this is good news, so we'll be, actually, my husband got me a new workbench, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm having to move tools and things. Uh, that's why this whole place is a mess, and mm -hmm. make sure all my car parts together, which they are, and put them all together and put them away, and I'm just glad that this is in the, mm -hmm. in our house now, and, um. Yeah, we live in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> you know, um, you know, it's been it's been quite a journey. You can turn it around if you want, just to you can see where. Well, we had the original block. Uh, the crate motor was uh, orange, so it, show, it still shows on the bell housing there. And then, of course, the block was decked and uh, cleaned out. And I think, uh, and what and um, Clay Smith cams, they added those. Uh, those little plugs, um, they're anodized brass or plugs. I didn't know they were. Anyway, so they went through the water jackets and everything. Clean, cleaned the block out really well. <coughs> you know, um, I did. wanted to tell everyone thank you for all your suggestions and help and everything. Um, especially like Bruce and John and um, people at Clay Smith Camps. Yeah. It's been such a great thing. And... Uh, I can't believe I'm actually getting to the point where I can <laughs> be able to drive this this motor in the summer, hopefully. Yeah, well, no, we'll get it. It's uh, one small step for mankind, but it's a huge one for us. So we're going to 
we're going to drop it in this old 